Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. We are going to make fish stew together. So welcome in, welcome in, everyone from Facebook and YouTube and anywhere else and all around the world. Coming and hanging out with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Happy Friday. Yeah, so I think I have all of my ingredients here. I hope everyone can see um, my cutting board. I see it well in the um, I see it well in the stream. Uh, let me know if you all can see me okay and hear me okay. If you can see me okay and hear me okay, please put a one in the chat and let me know. So thank you all for coming. Hey, Andrea, thanks for coming. How are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Hey, Colin and Olivia. Hello, friend and Mor Morgana. Hey, Michelle. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, the chat is moving so fast. I can't hardly see. Hey, Ann Dale, thank you for being here. Ola Joe, thank you for being here. Essence of Eden and Nancy. Hey, Mary Ann and Jenna. I'm just speaking to everyone as I can see from right now. <laughs> so thank you all. Don't forget to hit the like button if you can share it out. Please do so. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I know it's early, but this is the best time for me to be in my kitchen when I'm doing live cooking. So forgive me for being early. Hopefully sometimes I'll be able to go on in the evening. So some of you all who are not morning persons or on a completely different time zone somewhere else in the world, you will be able to join me as well. Hey, Brenda, my first time watching. So it's like, yay! Welcome in, welcome in. Yes, to all the new people uh, on both sides, welcome to the live. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my page. Just welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I hope I have all my ingredients out <laughs> here already, and that I don't, um, and that I don't forget anything. The first thing I'm going to do is chop up my onions and garlic that prepared. I'm going to cut up everything first so that I can get that prepared because I'm, we're cooking stew, we're cooking fish stew, but I'm not using a stock pot. I'm actually using an electric skillet. My electric skillet is about two and a half to three inches deep, and I can't cook a stew like a stew bake something in it. Uh, it is the easiest thing for me to use while on live. <laughs> um, otherwise, I'd be at the stove with my big pot or maybe you know, my crock pot or something like that. So I hope I have everything here. So I'm going to cut, cut up everything first because then I'm going to put my, um, my cookware on my cutting board to start actually cooking. So we have an onion here, a medium onion, and I will put all of the I don't think I can do this on the Facebook side, but on my YouTube video, all of the ingredients and exact measurements will be there. Yes, all of them. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Rhonda. Yes. Hello, Lydia. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for those stars. I appreciate that. Thank you so kindly. And I am dicing up these onions, and I'm probably dicing them up a little bit differently. Then uh, let me move this bottle out of the way so you all can see. I saw that it was in the way. I really just like to slice my onions and then I dice them from there. Um, it's just easier for me to do it that way, especially when it's something that doesn't have to be uniform. If it's, if it's something that uh, is going to get cooked down or something like that, once they get cooked down, they're not necessarily uniform. I mean, you don't want big chunks and little chunks, but they don't have to be perfect in size either. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So glad you are here. Um, I did read a few comments I had posted on Facebook that I was going live, and I did see a few comments, and somebody said, please cook something warm because it's supposed to be uh, a little in peace. Um, it's supposed to be cold. Like mine is something I think I saw. So coincidentally, I was making something that's warm. It's been relatively warm here, close to 70 every day, uh, like 68 to 70 every day. So it's not so cold here, but I had a taste for this. So that's how I came about 
making mistakes. And I thought, okay, you know what? Why don't I do it with you guys? Why don't I do it with you guys? Let's see. Baby girl vibes. Good morning, everyone. Host and all wishing, uh, wishing G is here. He loves your voice. Oh, okay. Good morning to everyone. Hi, Emma. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for those stars. I see going up over on Facebook. I appreciate that. Uh oh. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I have my member link over on YouTube at the pinned at the top of the stream. And I have my Facebook subscriber link pinned somewhere over there. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I can't see it on my end. Um, we're going to be having lots of fun. So come on over and join in the fun as well. Yes, and thank you for... Thank you for cook. No, thank you for coming. It says, and yes, my moderators. Thank you so much, moderators, for being here. Because as you know, the chat goes fast, and I can't always see it. So I appreciate you guys. So I'm just dicing up a medium onion here. We're gonna saute that, and um, you can use any. Well, you can pretty much use any fish you want, but white fish is typically used for fish stew. Um, I prefer to have cod, but what I had was tilapia. So we're having tilapia in our fish stew today. So that is the fish that I'm using. I'm going to cut it up in chunks. It's the, actually the last thing that will go in the dish. Like I say, with this onion, I'm just chopping it. No rhyme to it this morning. Leah, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. So glad you all are here. So who likes fish stew? Who has had fish stew? If you've never had fish stew, put a three in the chat. If you have never had fish stew before, put a three in the chat for me. Yes. Let me see. I see any threes. I see. Okay, I got one three. I see any more threes. Oh, bunch of threes. Oh. Ooh, you guys are in for a treat. Oh, and you haven't had it either. Oh my God. You guys are in for a treat. It's delicious. Wow. I am really surprised to see all the threes. Now, I don't see any threes up here on the Facebook side, but I see them all, a lot of threes over on the YouTube side. So let me know over here on the Facebook side if you've never had fish stew before. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got that cut up. So let's go ahead and leave it out. Really need about three or four uh, cloves of garlic. So they're already peeled. So I'm just go ahead and chop those up right quick. And I'll put those on that plate too. So I won't mix them up because I need to do my onions first. Oh, wait, LOL. Thought you said if you have had it. Oh, okay, Ann. No, I think if you haven't had it. Yeah, so let's see. Any threes over here? I love. Awesome. Let's see here. Angela Wright, Miss Pam, I love your energy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, so that's good enough for the garlic. A separate plate because we're going to cook it separately. And give me a second. I am going to go wash my hands because they are all sticky and yucky. Sticky and yucky from the garlic and onions. Let's see, let's see. Never knew that it was. Oh, wow, yes. You guys are going to have to make it. Everybody that hasn't had it. Yes. I just love you, family. So thank you so much, Incognito. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we have our onion and our garlic uh, done. I also have to peel, which I don't have my knife. I have to peel some potatoes. I'm going to do those last so they won't sit so long and maybe burn. I really don't put them in water, although I could. 
thing. Uh, so now this is my fish. Fish. And I'm just gonna cut it up in chunks. Right back in this fish container bowl happily. Uh, I'm gonna rinse it off first though. Be right back. Okay, sit that there, move that over and sit this here, that there, and sit this here. And you know what? I don't know why. I just it, it just dawned on me. I have such a narrow space right here while I'm trying to cook for you guys. I really should my counter is longer that way. I guess I needed the length for you all to be able to see. Maybe that's one because I'm like, I need to. This way, so I would have more room. But if I did that, I don't think you all, you all could see. And I don't like my fish cut up too thin or too thick. Like maybe like this, maybe like little inch chunks or something like that. You want it to stay firm and you want to have nice pieces in there, but it's stew. And as a matter of fact, I probably would cut this in half. It's stew. And personally, whether it's beef stew, fish stew, whatever it is, I like my meat cut into nice chunks, but I like it small enough that I can put it in my mouth with the spoon. I don't want to use have to use a fork and knife to cut meat in stew. Now, that's a personal preference. So, that being said, I'm cutting it down to this amount of size. See? I don't know why I do that. I do that. <laughs> I know I do it on my videos. I'll be like, see? So, I ask me something in the house, and I'll be like, see? <laughs> So that's the size that I like. But of course, you can cut yours to any, any size chunks that you like. But, oops, I'm dropping it all over the place. I like them about that size. Something that I can put in my mouth without, like I said, the need for a fork and a knife. So we'll get this cut up. Then I will cut my potatoes up. Then we will go ahead and saute the onions and garlic. And it doesn't take long for the fish to cook. So the fish is actually the last thing that will go in the stew. It will, you have to build your flavors and build your stew up first. And then, um, uh, just a minute. I need it. I feel a bone in my fish. And that's another thing, after cutting up fish or doing anything like this, as I am doing it, as I am cutting it up, I feel it with my hands. I rub it with my hands. Just so that I can do just what I did. If there's a bone, I'll find it. I'll... Yes, good morning. I'm watching you from the Bahamas. Oh, yes. I love your clips. All oh, the substitutions. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, thank you. The question, can you use? Yes, I prefer to use codfish, actually, uh, Ola Joe. That would be my preference, but I didn't have any, and I had some tilapia. So that's why I am using the tilapia, as opposed to the cod. Absolutely. Any white fish, things like fish like that, it's really good. And cod is actually my preference. I just like cod, period. Um, so I also don't mind using my tilapia for the stew. It's a good dish, but likewise, it's not a favorite fish of mine. So I would just put it in a stew. That makes it even better. Oh, yay. Let's see. Jenda, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Chef's Club. Thank you. A new member. We have a new member, guys. Welcome. Please welcome the new member. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining Awesome. We have a new member over here, guys. Yes. Thank you for the stars, Caroline. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Cassandra Brown, is tilapia? Yes, it is. That's exactly what it is. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Hey, James9615. It's been years since I see you. I hope you have been blessed while you have been away. Yes. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for coming. Yes, I remember you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, Teresa, uh, cod, cod is one of my favorite, too. 
Well, my actual really, really favorite is something that I can't seem to get my hands on anymore, which is buffalo fish. I love buffalo fish. Next in line for me personally would be catfish and then cod. In that order. In that order. Okay, let's see here. You know what? I'm tempted to leave this piece of tilapia out. Well, we're going to fill it up. It's good to have lots of fish in your fish stew. Yes. Hey, Christina, how are you? Margaret, hello, good morning from Florida. Yes, where is everybody from? Where is everyone from? Let me know. Let me know, let me know. Okay, so we are done cutting our fish. And I'm going to clean this cutting board off in just a second. But before I do... grocery store bag. <laughs> Why is she going to get a grocery store bag? Because I have to peel these potatoes and I need something to put them on. Okay, let's see. Okay, I need to peel them and put them, if you peel them, you peel them on the bag, you roll the bag up and you're done. And you can feel free to use a feel free to use a potato peeler if you like. But personally, I like my paring knife for peeling potatoes. Um, for me, personally, it's just easier. At least I think it's easier. And I'm not putting a lot of potatoes in here. We're not too much of a potato person, so to speak. Um, but the potatoes kind of help thicken it up. Gives it a little bit more body, a little bit more food. So I'll add two, three small ones. Uh, typically, the recipe you will find, I'll put in there, it'll say two medium potatoes. It will say two medium potatoes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, hey, Jacqueline, how are you? Hey, Ben Focus. Hey, Sandra. I love some fried buffalo ribs. Yes, absolutely delicious. So, see, this is about the size of potato I'm using. I'm just using three, which is actually equal to maybe like one large potato. And that's good enough. I need a lot of potatoes in here. I'm going to dice them pretty small so that, again, they'll be bite sized. You know, I want to get a spoon. And I want to look at everything on my spoon. Yes, yes. Hey, Tanata, how are you? Welcome in from Colorado. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for those stars. That's amazing. You guys are so wonderful. You all are wonderful. I appreciate you all so very much. Let's see here. Whew. And it is burning up in here. And I don't have anything on. So my potatoes are peeled. I will dice them after I clean off my cutting board for the fish. So throw this away, grab my towel, wash my knife, and I'll be right back. to open up my kitchen window. It is piping hot in here. I don't have any stove on. I don't have anything on. It is too hot. It's probably going to be about 70. And I, I pray it's like this this weekend so that I can get out in my garden. I'm ready to turn over all my beds. I'm ready to put my um, compost. I'm composting in place. I'm ready to put that down in the soil so it can start breaking down and be ready when it's time for me to plant stuff. This off. All right, 
right now I can do the potatoes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Hey, Dee Dee, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Okay, so now I'm gonna cut up my, cut up my potatoes so that they will be ready. And then all we have to do is start cooking, start cooking. I just put box chocolate cake in the oven with a few of your recommend and milk, coffee, extra egg yolk, and vanilla. Oh, yes, please leave me a message somewhere. Let me know how that turns out. Let me know how you like it. Okay, so let me cut up my potatoes. Oh, it's stuck on there. And I am dicing these relatively small. Again, chunks in there. You guys can see that? That's the size that I'm cooking, that I'm making. So that back on the tray here. And it also will help them cook faster. That's another thing that I like about fish stew is it's a quick dish. It doesn't take maybe 30 minutes tops to actually cook it. Uh, and I like that because you're not standing anywhere cooking all day. Hey, Ross, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being here. Rebecca's in the house. He says, I really enjoy your videos. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see here. Last potato. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, looks like I dropped a piece. Compost food processor and save in bucket all. Yes, you know what I do is I don't have compost outside or anything like that, but I juice, I juice by hand mostly, or when I juice all the pulp, I say all the what are, oh wait, hold it. <laughs> oh sorry, y'all you <laughs> that comment made me think when I said I save everything. Wait a minute, what happened to my potato sticks? I didn't need to throw them away. I put them in a plastic bag so I could wrap them up and set them aside. And I wanted to make sure I set them aside on my counter over there. And I didn't toss them. So I to look. So I, I save everything like that and I freeze it and I got like potato skips. I'll dehydrate those and use the powder in my garden. But otherwise, I just freeze everything. And then I, I either dehydrate or I chop it up or I blend it and I don't put it into a liquid. Period, just like that, as is. Okay, so next, we are going to get started cooking. And forgive me, but I do not steal it very often. I like my cast iron steel. So I'm not exactly sure about my temperature. So we're going to figure this out together today. But I'm going to start this on 300. See, I might have to turn it down when I get my onions in here. I need to start take those. So, let's put this here. I think I'm through with my big knife. And just in case, I'll sit it back here. So, with a little knife. Spoon, spoon. And while this heats up, it doesn't take very long to heat up. I hope everybody can see this. I don't know if you can see actually in it, uh, but hopefully you can see quite a bit of it. I have my olive oil here. I have some red wine. You can use red wine or white wine. You don't have to use any wine. You can just simply use all chicken broth. I'm using some chicken broth too along with that. And I have some diced up, um, diced up, what do you call these things? 
<laughs> Tomato. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't think of what you call them. And for you all who didn't see them, red wine, and for you can use red wine or white wine. This is getting relatively hot pretty quick. That's a good thing. So I'm going to turn it down to about 250 because I don't want to burn anything. <laughs> oh, God. I don't, y'all wouldn't let me lay it down, would you? <laughs> Michelle Sparks is here. Thank you so much for those stories. I appreciate it. Hey, Andre, how are you? Hey, Cassandra Fulton. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. So you need about six tablespoons of olive oil. Of course, I'm not going to measure, but, you know, just pour some in. <laughs> yes. And, you know, uh, it helps the body. It has a lot of olive oil on one hand. It is. On the other hand, it's not. It's what has the body. Flavor to it. So go ahead and put that in. And I think that should be about enough. Hey, fans, how are you? How are you? It is a tomato shell. <laughs> I know, right? I couldn't think of it. I'm, like, I'm sitting here looking at it. What is this called? <laughs> Come on now. Everybody in the chat, I want y'all to put a what? Put a five in the chat if you ever forgot what something was called while it was in your hand. I should see some fives going up. <laughs> oh, my world is cracking up. We all have brain fart every now and again. I know, right? I could not think of it. Okay, onions first. Salt the onions. Hope this isn't too hot. It doesn't sound like it. Sounds like it's about just right. And you don't want them to caramelize or anything like that. You just have one of these. Often and bring out that uh, flavor. The onions on the back, onions on the front. Bring out that flavor and that aroma. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Oh, this looks delicious. Oh, yes. <laughs> and put a bunch of fives in there. She said, five, 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 five. Okay, so now we're going to turn it down to 225. And if that's too low, I'll raise it back up. But like I said, this is not the skill that I use all the time. <laughs> so I'm just putting in a bunch of fives. I know, right? I see those fives over here, too. Yes. Just about two or three seconds just till they start to soften up. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're going to go in with our garlic for about a minute. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Give that a good stir. Oh, I wish you all had smell vision Yes. Yes. Let's see. Awesome. Awesome. I wish you all had smell vision That would be amazing. So we got our garlic and our onions in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, next, I'm going in with my potatoes. Yes, next is the potatoes without any extra liquid because I want them to get just a little texture on the outside of them. So, just want to leave them in there for a couple of minutes along with the onions and garlic to get a little texture. They are actually, and I'm turning it up just a little bit now. The potatoes is the one thing that's going to take probably the longest to cook. And you don't have to add potatoes in yours. This is also customizable. So you can add something else in yours that you may want in yours. Um, some people add bell peppers and things like that. So fix it up the way you want to fix it up too. Hey, Nikki, good morning. Just to cook those some potatoes just a little bit. They're not going to get tender or anything else in here right now. That'll happen when we add our liquid. Then we'll let it simmer until the potatoes are like four to It should take maybe about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Let everything gel together. We can chat while that's happening. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Nikki. Hey, Victoria. I love using my electric steel too. Very good. It is. It is. Especially when I'm doing something like this. It is really convenient. And then at the end, I can just unplug it, put the top on it, and sit it to the side. And we can eat off this all day or whenever we get back to it. 
Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Lisa, thank you. Potatoes instead of white potatoes. Yes, you can. Absolutely. That's the kind of switch up I'm talking about. Yes, you can use sweet potatoes instead of white potatoes. That would be amazing. Yes, you could even put rice in here instead of potatoes if you didn't want potatoes at all, something like that. You could simply leave it out. Wanted a white shirt with tomato sauce on it. Yes. Oh, wash the white shirt with tomato sauce on it yesterday. Soaked in milk like you said. Okay, totally clean. Yes, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so my potatoes are starting to get a little bit of brown on them. Just a tad bit here and there. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to go in with our tomatoes. <laughs> Why can I not think of what these things are called today? Come on, you going to help me out. Why can't I think? Oh, oh, okay. Yes, why can't I remember this? I don't know. Okay, so we have that in with some And stir it as you go, stir as you go. Now we're going to add some tomato paste in. This is just regular tomato paste. Yep, right side. I thought it was upside down, but it's not. It's right. A couple of spoons for tomato paste. Gives it that extra thickness and richness body that we want. Again, stir, stir, stir. And that was a piece of onion skin that I just took out of there. Now we're going to go in. This is uh, dried parsley. Dried parsley. This is parsley from my garden that I grew last year. And dehydrated. I don't have any fresh. Well, I do have a little bit of fresh out there, but I don't want to take the way I want it to grow some more. So I didn't have any fresh parsley. You can feel free to use fresh parsley. If you use fresh parsley, then you want to use about two thirds of a cup. But because it's dry, you want to use much less. So this is about a fourth of a cup of dried parsley. So go ahead and put that in there. And stir, stir, stir as you add. And fish stew is typically uh, drier. In other words, it doesn't have a lot of broth or liquid. So you can feel free to add more if you want. You can also, in the end, we may end up adding a spoon of cornstarch just to thicken it a little bit. I like mine to be a little bit more salty, so I may end up adding just a little bit more broth or water to it um, other than what I have here. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. Now our potatoes can start to cook. Now we'll get to fall in there. And about a fourth of a cup of white or red wine. If you're using it, you can simply use more broth. If you don't want to use it, no, I'm not measuring. <laughs> and I'm not getting ready to try to pronounce whatever kind of wine this is. It's just the cheap. Red wine, nothing expensive. Uh, you can read it. <laughs> I'm not about to pronounce it. I know y'all said that was more than a fourth of a cup. <laughs> it probably was. But that's okay because I like it saucy. So here we're just going to let it simmer, let those potatoes cook. I'm not simmer. I'm turning it up to a low boil. That's what I want, not simmer. And so we're just going to let it, we have some more seasonings to add to it, and we still have to add our fish in here. But we'll do all that. Oh my God, this smells amazing. We'll do all that uh, after the potatoes become fork tender. So they need to cook for a while. Make sure this is upright. In the meantime, I'm going to taste my broth. This is what I typically do so that I won't have to keep washing my spoon, keep running back and forth with my spoon. I'll take whatever spoon I'm cooking with. And I just want to taste the broth. I haven't added my salt and pepper yet, 
in a couple of other seasons, but I still want to see the flavor profile that it is now in case I want to add something else to it. So I just put a little bit in my spoon. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> it's good already. And because tomatoes are acidic, they don't, I don't need much salt in here. That's my preference. When it comes to salt and pepper, I like for everybody to do it according to their taste. So we're just going to let this cook simmer while we get to chat for a while. Then we'll be adding in our fish and the other six. So put this aside, put that aside. Put all this over here so I won't forget any of it. And of course, I can't forget the fish. And we are going to let this reduce a little bit, but I am also going to cover it because I don't want all of my liquid to go out. And I may need to get some more broth because I like mine saucy. I'd rather have it saucier and thicken it up. So give me one second. Set that aside in case I need it. Got my corn stretch out. Oh my God, this smells good. I wish we had smell of vision. I wish we had. Oh, that is smelling good. I am going to add a little bit of broccoli here so that it can reduce that together. I need some more in the end. I will add it. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay, so what's going on in the chat? Yes, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Cass, good morning. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Hey, how are you? Hey, Joyce. Uh, what about adding mushrooms, anybody? Uh, yeah, I don't care for mushrooms. I just don't want any kinds of mushrooms. Mushrooms are okay. I like them not cooked mostly unless it's in mushroom soup. Now, I love, love, love cream of mushroom soup. I actually have a cream of mushroom soup recipe on my channel. That I love. But other than that, I'm not really a fan of mushrooms. But yes, that's an additive. Anybody in the chat would like to add mushrooms? Yes, that's an additive. Yes, where are you buying your fish, fresh, frozen, still going to Trader Joe's? For the cot. Yes, Trader Joe's. For everything. Yes, absolutely. That's where I get been getting it from. Trader Joe's. Yes. Hey, Lady Bird. How are you? Yes. Thank you for the chef and more. Put. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For you all who don't know, the reason if you see my post and you may see chef and more in there, you also may see it on my shirt. It's not about the chef part. It's not about the more part. <laughs> what happened is when I first my channel on YouTube. This was my channel name, Chef and More. And I liked it and I toyed with changing it. I wanted to have more of my personality in the channel. And that's when I changed to cooking at Pam's place. 
but I decided to keep the chef and more alive, so to speak, because I, I did like I didn't change because I didn't like it or anything. I just wanted more me in the name, and so that's where that comes from. That is where that comes from. I think I need a pot holder. Lots and lots and lots of steam. And when you all are cooking that, and you have a pot with your stove, something like this, a crock pot or whatever, and you can manage to lift that top, don't lift the top straight up. And definitely, definitely, definitely do not lift the top towards you. Lift that top away from you so that steam can go that way. Because steam burns just as bad as something uh, popping on you or falling on you. So lift it that way. So the steam will go that way. Shake your top because it's got water on it. You don't want that water to drip down your arm. And then go ahead and go in and stir. That's, that's the way you need to do it. Ooh, yes. This is smelling amazing. Let me see here. Let me do another taste. This is cooking down. I'm going to make sure that wine cooks out too. Mmm. Yes, it's not even cold here, but this is going to be delicious. This is going to be delicious. Yes, from North Hollywood, California. Hey, welcome in. Hey, Paulette. How are you? How are you? Welcome, 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 everyone. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much for those stars. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the love hearts that are going up on both channels. And Nikki is here. I'm out. I'm out the door. Okay. Thanks, Nikki, for coming by. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm stepping aside because my here's a my pan has a spout on it right here. So the steam is coming up out of that corner. So that's why you see me backing up a little bit this way. It's because the steam is coming up heavily right there. So I'll back up this way and lean over that way. <laughs> so it won't come up directly in my face. Yes, Northern California. Hey, Tammy. Hello, Tommy. Boy. Welcome in, Rhonda. So glad to see you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Jean from England. Helen Michelle is here. I love your channel. Thank you so much. You have encouraged me to cook. Awesome. That's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Lisa. Yes, so this will be permanently posted on Facebook page as well as because I don't delete my lives. I, I always put on there never delete them. So you can go back and find them. And for any subscribers that I have that are in the chat, um, everything's going up so fast. So I can't really see but any subscribers up on Facebook that I have. Don't forget to check the subscriber hub. You'll find that on my Facebook page. The subscriber hub is where everything I posted a video for you all yesterday. I've got another one that I'm gonna post this weekend for you all and I'll also be going live just for my um, subscribers on Facebook. We're going to do a live this weekend. I don't know exactly when, but I'm going to post it. I'm going to give you guys a post ahead of time. And then so we'll have our subscriber only live. And for my members that are the dessert level on YouTube, we're going to have a members only live this weekend as well. So if you all are in here or if you come and watch the replay, you'll hear that. Check the subscriber hub on Facebook. Check the community tab on Facebook to know when those lives will be. Oh, this is so good. Yes, amazing, amazing. It is cooking down really well. I need a fork. So much for this part. So let's see how they're coming along. They're coming along. They're getting there. So I want to make sure. Just go ahead and add all that because it's cooking down really right. fast as they cook. So I want to make sure I have a nice amount of broth in here. Ooh, this is delicious. Right before I add my fish in here, I'm going to add probably a little, uh, I'm going to add a little cornstarch slurry. Oh, wow. Y'all see that? Who see that? Y'all know what just happened? <laughs> I 
knows what just happened. If you know what just happened, put it in the chat. <laughs> Who saw that? Who saw that? Anybody see that? I dropped the whole spoon down into the pot. I must say, I enjoy everything. Have a great, thank you so much. That oily sounds fantastic. It tastes fantastic, but I did not mean to drop my spoon. And that's another thing you guys will find that when I cook, I taste all throughout the cookie. I saw that poor spoon. <laughs> I knew you would see it fast. Yes. So I always keep tasting, tasting, tasting. Yes, I go. It's amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Right now, so that you'll know before I put the fish in there, Right now, um, it tastes kind of like vegetable soup, although I don't have really any vegetables in here. Now the salad on the side will be the vegetables. When I do eat, that's what I'll do. I'll put a salad on the side. However, you can incorporate some veggies right into this. And speaking of, you know what? I think I'm going to put some little green peas in my. That's going to be amazing. I think I want to put that in. I'm going to run and grab my green peas. That's the one good thing about green peas is that uh, the one good thing about green peas is I use the frozen green peas. And because of that, they don't need to cook. I will even put those in after the fish is done. All they need is a head of heat. And that way, uh, fish that spoon out. <laughs> I know, right? That way, uh, they don't get mushy. I do not want any mushy vegetables under any circumstances. So I'm going to grab those and I'll be right back. After I wipe off my, after I wipe off my uh, cutting board over here, I set my spoon and stuff. This would be, I don't need a lot. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's see. Ooh, good morning from Washington State. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You are the most cheerful and helpful part. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Frank, how are you doing? Hey, Angie, welcome in. Welcome in. Yes, thank you guys so much. I love how you clean while you cook up. Yes. Two things that does. One, I don't like a messy workstation because it looks food. So I want things to be clean. But likewise, um, I am also, also prevents me from having to do a whole ton of cleanup afterwards as well. You don't want to do that. You want to sit down and be able to enjoy your food like anybody else. Almost ready. I got pieces that are just about ready. A couple of pieces that are not, but that's okay. We'll ready in a second. If I, if I stop opening the top, they'll probably get ready even faster. Yes. Hey, Kathy. Kentucky. Hello, hello. 
Roll, how are you? That looks so good. Thank you so much. Leslie from Florida, what are you making? Fish stew, Leslie. I am making fish stew. You were supposed to go. I read that already. Hey, cooking and chilling with Kenny. Hey, how you doing, Kenny? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for coming. How you doing? I am doing fantastic. Hope you are too. Haven't seen you in a while, but I haven't been around in a while myself. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Pennsylvania. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? Yes, Sharon, hello from Pennsylvania. Selena, how are you? Somebody just asked, can they something? And I don't know what it said, so ask again. Thank you for the stars. We're going to set them up. Yes. Oh, someone has a question. Let's see if I can back that up. Oh, just chef, go over. Go over the subscriptions, questions about the subscriptions. Oh, okay. Facebook subscriptions, they're $4.99 a month. You can cancel it in time. I post uh, subscriber-only videos, which means they don't go out to the public. A lot of people ask me for things for cleaning and, and household hacks and things like that. So I share that with the subscribers. I also share cooking and recipes that I don't put on my channels. And this is the same thing for my members over on YouTube as well. Uh, but the subscriptions is just one subscription over on Facebook, and that's $4.99. You're not obligated. You don't have to hang around. If you're like, hey, I don't like this, you can cancel at any time. And um, we go live. I go live a lot. Uh, I'll lives is what they are. Maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. I might have an announcement. I might just say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm just sitting here. I just want to see what you all are doing. Or I might be cooking something for breakfast. I just want you all to see I'm going to make this some kind of some, some toast. Or I'm going to do this with this avocado. And I'll pop in for five or 10 minutes. Those are the lives. Now, every now and then, I'll probably have a longer live where we can just really sit and chat for a while. But that's what the subscriptions are about. They're a little bit more for me. It's behind the scenes. I can share uh, a video. Or behind the Video with uh, high, high scenes video with my subscribers on Facebook as well as my members on YouTube. So, and on YouTube, my memberships are, I have four different levels over there. I have a snack, a, a snack, a brunch, a dinner, and a dessert. And the higher up you go, the more perks there are. Uh, the snack is pretty much $1.99, and it's a virtual thank you and virtual hugs. It's like support for me, and I really appreciate that. that Wonderful, I love it. Yes, and you all get your own emojis. That's another thing. The subscribers, you get subscriber badges. Anybody in the chat will know you're a subscriber, and I can see that you're a subscriber in the comments of videos as well as live. There are subscriber badges. You all have member badges, and you all have member emojis where you can put emojis up, lives, comments, anytime. Then the uh, brunch is priority response. You ask me something. When I answer my questions, I filter for my members first, and you guys get all the answers that you need, any questions answered. The dinner moves on to uh, videos where I have uh, the same thing I've saved over on the subscribers from Facebook. It's member-only videos, content for cleaning, household hacks, as well as cooking. And the dessert is member-only lives, plus everything else. The dinner gets plus everything else. So those are the... Uh, basics of the memberships. And if you click on the tabs, you'll read out a lot. There's no obligation to click. When you click, matter of fact, I have a video posted on both um, YouTube and Facebook. If you click on the subscribe button with the video with me talking about it, you'll get the video with me talking about it. So yes, you can check it out that way too. Okay, my potatoes are just about ready. We got maybe about five, we got maybe about five more minutes on these potatoes. Not long because I don't want the potatoes mushy either. I want the potatoes to stay kind of firm and we still have to cook the fish. So they'll cook more while the fish is in there as well. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hey, we have a new number. Thank you, you guys. Welcome the new number. Hey, Sherry Ruffin, thank you so much. Welcome to the Chef Club. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And all my other members, welcome, welcome to in. Okay. And this is thickening up quite nicely, guys. I don't know if you all can see this. Broth is thickening up quite nicely. I like that. And I don't want to add too much liquid because the fish has liquid in it as well. And so that's going to release as it's cooking too. So I think at this point in time, 
we can go ahead. I'm going to turn it down a little bit to 200 because it's cooking quite rapidly, and that's good. We're going to go in. I'm going to give it just a few, maybe two or three more minutes to cook, and then we'll add in our fish. Then we'll add in the rest of our seasonings along with the fish, and then when the fish is nice and it starts to flake, which shouldn't take very long, maybe about five minutes, doesn't take long. This is kind of heat for the fish to cook. Then we will add in our last little seasonings. Give that a stir, and we'll be good to go. Delicious. Yes, I love it, love it, love it. Hey, Shirley. Yes, highly favored is watching. All right, Shirley, God's, God's, God's mommy side. I can't read that, but I missed it. It went up too fast. Hey, Charlotte, how are you? Rosemary is here. What are you making? I didn't make a fish stew, rosemary fish stew. Hey, Ruby. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to see you all. Oh, this is hot. It's hot over here. Standing here with the steam. Standing here with the steam. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Rhonda Reed. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. And Joan is here as well. Okay. I think it's time. Let's go ahead and get our fish in. Okay, we're going to give that a stir, stir that in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is smelling and looking good. I could actually stand a little bit more liquid in mine because I like broth. You can get just crusty bread or something with this. Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to taste. And add in about a teaspoon of thyme. Oregano. And salt and pepper, if you like. I'm not putting any more salt in it. It's salted enough for me. I don't need any more salt. But I'm going to add just a tad bit of black pepper. Give that a good start. I'm going to cover it back up and let this fish cook. Woo! Then I'm going to ladle some up so you guys can see it in a bowl. And then I get to go eat. I'm not going to put the peas in just yet either. This is going to be amazing. Woo, delicious, delicious, delicious. Woo, top is hot. Turn that down. Now we just wait for our fish to cook two or three minutes. Add in our peas and we're done, guys. We are done. This was good. Couldn't see how quick that was. Now, imagine if you were cooking this in your kitchen. And then you weren't stopping and talking, you're just cooking. This would take about 30 minutes tops. So this is a good, quick, hot, nutritious meal. Um, could you use Old Bay season? Yes, you can. My husband doesn't really like a lot of heat, so you can use Old Bay season. Well, you say Old Bay season, I'm thinking about hot sauce. Because you can add a few inches of hot sauce. And most, most recipes call for it. And actually this one does. But I typically would add the hot sauce just to my bowl because it doesn't like the heat. But yes, you can use all bases. Use your favorite seasoning. Use your favorite seasoning. Whatever that is, whatever your favorite seasoning is, that's, the, that's what you want to use. Yes. Yes, you can put shrimp. Absolutely. Yes, you can. In fact, you can put on an array of different seafood in here. It doesn't just have to be fish. Yes. Oh, you got frozen peas for the soup. I'm so jealous. Yes, I sure do. I sure do. Fast. And I'm putting them in last because I don't like them mushy. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. What kind of broth? Did I use chicken broth and red one there. That's, that's the liquid that I put in here. So I'm going to rinse this off. Oh, I didn't eat this at all. I forgot I didn't eat off of it. So I'm going to check my fish. You don't want to overcook your fish either. So you just want to tell the story. 
and it does not take long at all in this heat. We are pretty much done. So I'm going to add my peas in now. And get my to stir the dose in here just a minute. I'll go ahead and turn my heat off. Ooh, yes. I'm going to have today. I'm going to enjoy it. For today, it's good. My goodness, this smells amazing. So I'm going to turn the heat completely off now because that residual heat, uh, I'm going to get a bowl so I can plate some up for you guys so you can see it. That residual heat will go warm up, heat the peas up, as well as I'll finish off the fish. And because I like it saucy, I don't need to add any cornstarch. It is thick enough for me. Off around here. And grab a plate. And plate her up. Delicious. Ooh, it's hot, so I'm gonna see if I'm tasting it. This looks good. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna come closer so you all can see this in just one second. Come this back up. Ooh, it's hot. So, you all can see that up close. Looks good, looks good. Come over here. You guys can see that up close. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. This bowl is hot. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What did I see? It? I missed. Okay, somebody said something. Hey, old school soul food. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you. For coming. Hey y'all, good morning. What's cooking? I just finished. Um, I just finished fish stew. I just finished fish stew, uh, Jeffrey, Chef Jeffrey. Yeah, so I'm just getting ready to taste it a little bit. It is delicious. I'm putting the spoon on the fork. This is amazing. It's hot. I want to get a little bit of everything on my spoon. Because you got to get a little bit of everything. Get you some cornbread with this. Or some nice crusty bread. Even a French loaf or a pretzel loaf. Whatever your bread is. Whatever do you. Whatever your bread is. I could take some cornbread. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. Look at that. You see that? You see that? Oh my goodness. It's hot. Woo. Really hot. Oh, but this looks good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My God. This is so, so good. You got to try this. Mmm. All the ingredients for everybody on Facebook, all the ingredients will be in the description below the video of my YouTube video. And if I can put it in the Post. I haven't figured out how to add the ingredients on Facebook yet. So that's why I'm telling you this over there. But it is delicious. 
It is delicious. So um, this is, I'll just show you guys though quickly. Um, just getting started with this. I'll go on some things the actual measurements because as you know, I didn't measure out that the measurements in the description. Start off with some olive oil and medium onion diced up and saute that onion. Add in your garlic. After you add in your garlic, I, I peel a couple, couple of potatoes, dice those potatoes, make sure they're kind of diced evenly so they'll cook it. Add in your potatoes. Right after the onions, you saute your onions and your garlic just to get a little brownness on them. Not much because you don't want your onions and your garlic to brown. Just a tad bit. After that, go ahead and add in most of all your other ingredients, which are diced tomatoes. And in from the tomatoes, you want to add that in. I used uh, chicken broth and red wine. You can use white wine. You can use all chicken broth and no wine. You can use water if you want to. But if you use water, you're probably going to need a little bit more seasoning. And I used about a fourth of a cup of dried parsley. You can also use fresh parsley. But I didn't have any more fresh parsley. So I used my dried parsley. Get that all stirred up. I really didn't need any uh, salt in the entire dish because of the acidity of the tomatoes. It's just perfect. So I didn't need to add any uh, other salt in there like that. I did go back in and add two more cups of chicken broth because as my potatoes were cooking, it kind of, um, kind of, it didn't melt down. Come on, y'all. What did it do? Come on, come on, come on. Evaporated. <laughs> it cooked out. So I needed to add some more liquid because I like mine kind of saucy. And then after that, now you can use any fish you want. The white fish is better. Cod is perfect. I didn't have any cod. Use tilapia. Tilapia is amazing in here. So you can use tilapia or cod. Those are absolutely amazing. But any white fish will do. Uh, so you can use that. And when I put in, um, after the potatoes cooked down and they became fork tender, you just want to be fork tender because you don't want anything mushy in your stew. After that, I put in my uh, fish that I had already diced up and pretty much maybe like small chunks small chunks like this because you want to bite side. You don't want to have to, you don't want to fork and knife stew. So after I put in the tilapia, I also added in some oregano and thyme in that. Let that cook together. It took maybe about three or four minutes for the fish to cook. With those seasonings, I also added some black pepper and some little uh, green peas, some little English sweet peas. So that's it. That's all it took. That's all it takes. And had I just been doing this on my own, probably about 30 minutes. So it's really, really worth the time. Mm. And it's delicious, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. It is really, really good. Mm. So that's it. If you guys have any more questions, I'll touch them. Otherwise, I'll let you all go so you can get back to whatever you were doing on this Friday. And again, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. All of you all, YouTube, everybody on Facebook, thank you so very much. This is amazing, and I love that you guys are here. So thank you so, so much. All right, then. I don't see any questions going up, so I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing, and the great rise. Bye-bye.